Hello everybody. Alright then my friends. Today oh pissing down. If you can see that, it's hammering down. Um today I'm gonna to do a little video on use the vegetable oil in my 200 TDI. I'll tell you what I've used it in the past and how well my TDI runs on it. My 200 TDI defender is currently um, the lights on it, it's almost empty. It struggles to start this morning, so I know that it's got next to no fuel in it. So I'm going to tip 10 litres in there, um, and I'm going to run it neat and show you how, how it starts from cold. Um, so it's piddling down. That was uh, six pound for five litres. So I'm happy with that. Currently, I know that Asda's got, you can buy three litres, and if you buy the three litres, you can get it for one pound nine a litre, which is a nice saving. Normal vegetable oil, you can use sunflower oil as well, rapeseed oil, it'll run on all of them. Uh, make sure that in the winter you have a, a better mix of sort of 50 15 most things. Um, this tends to be okay with quite a lot of this in. Um, compared to diesel but remember that you can only use 2500 litres of this a year um, so you don't want to sort of go over that um, so mixing it is good I don't do a lot of miles in this car if I'm honest with you so um, I can put it in straight before I put it in there I just wanted to grab the keys to show you that the fuel light is on see there that'll go off but the fuel light's still on and you can see there we've got very little fuel when it gets into that orange it means you've got next to nothing and you've got five miles before you've added so when I put this in there's gonna be next to no diesel in there because it has got diesel in it at the moment um, it's had a bit of a mix but mostly diesel but I hate putting diesel in the moment because of the price of it so we're gonna chuck this in I'm gonna show you how it starts and it runs for this good thing about defender is the neck is the perfect size for these bottles it's even better for square ones I use new stuff rather than used because you don't have to keep changing the filter you don't get clogged up obviously this is thicker This has got a mechanical pump rather than a electric pump, so it will pump it easier. The dip, people do say that after a while, it just ruin the pump from the uh, the lobes trying to squash the thicker stuff. Make sure you don't drop that in there. I've done that in the past, and it kept cutting out. Today I realised why, and then I, I found out that I dropped a lid in there when I emptied the tank. So don't drop anything in there. Here's our second one, that's 10 litres. I've also used this in a TD5 in the past. But I'd still use it in his now. Runs well but only on a 50-50 mix. I wouldn't use it straight in there because of its electrical pump and its newer engine. Uh, I'd use it straight in a 200 TDI on a 300 TDI. Only in warmer temperatures normally. Do thin it down with diesel generally in colder ones, but it will. This will run on it straight. I know it will. So I used it in the P38, which was a BMW as well, 50/50 in that, and it, that run fine for a few years on it. So we get that in there. We don't want to waste any. All the prices of fuel at the moment. It's all in. Get back on. I'll lock that when I find the keys in a sec. Right, we're going to start it up. Show you. Right now, we'll start it up. Just have to nip into the shop for somebody. Make sure your glove plugs are in good condition for this. If 
Fuel light should go out now. I've put 10 litres in. Fuel light's out. You can see it going up to around quarter of a tank there, just under. And this is a cold. So I've just missed myself doing a cold start, but I just turned it on and it started first time. It's running. It's running well. You can already smell the, the vegetable oil straight away. That's a little fuel that was in there. So you can smell the vegetable oil. It smells a bit like cooking coming out of the exhaust there. I always find that it's got a bit more power and you, it runs smoother with vegetable oil than it does with diesel. So if you're planning on using it at 200 TDI, I'll start it again for you. Oh, this ain't cold now, but it's only running for two seconds. There you go. If you're planning on running on a 200 TDI, 300 TDI, you shouldn't have any issues on your TD5s. Like I say, 50-50 mix, and you shouldn't have any issues with that either. So, it's worth considering. Please. <laughs>